So yo guys, in today's video, we got an ace grade in return. In this one features Pal the Evolved and Scarlet and Violet. I thought I'd do a return on the newest set because I haven't encapsulated any for my collection with Ace. And yeah, well, I sent my favorites, all my favorite cards from both sets, I believe. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you can see the results. This is the English one. So we'll see how the print quality is because obviously you know how English is. But guys, if you don't know, on Ace Grading, you can use the code VIV. Uh, which does support the channel as well and that gets you five percent off your ace grading return so make sure to use it uh because you're gonna get a little save in there and it's gonna really help uh with those returns and makes uh save some money you know what i mean so yeah definitely use the code viv whenever you do grade with ace uh but yeah let's get into it let's get into it so boom so boom they always pack so nicely uh but ooh. so this is number seven seven so i'll try and do a number order so i'll put in a specific order so boom, let's start this off. As you can see, they're on 120,000 cert now. They're probably a lot higher. I sent these on standard. Took about uh, like two, three weeks, not too long. And there are services only like two, three pound more where you can get it a lot quicker. I'll put the times on the screen so you can see them. But yeah, as you can see, I got Ace Label for, I believe every single one has an Ace Label option. So I got an Ace Label. And as you can see, it matches perfectly there with the messy bedroom of Ryalu, but a Mint 9. So with this Scarlet and Violet, error in english they are incredibly hard to grade so if we get a 10 is a huge w but as you can see you got a speck of whitening in there a little speck of whitening there so with nines we'll take that for sure because i can imagine we might get some lower than that but yo mint nine on that so we'll take it we'll take it so boom uh so yeah that is mint nine do we we'll do scarlet and violet nine so scarlet nine we'll make piles in a bit we'll see what we get um, Rouge, my one of my favorite new gen Pokemons again with the ace label matching the building matching the art as and everything like that but a mint nine again so boom I'm Rouge. so this is Scarlet and Violet base and these are personally some of my favorite cards from the set just my favorite Pokemons my favorite artworks and that's why I always collect but oh we got the route so you know what the routes leads into in a bit but mint nine this card was pretty expensive because it was hard to find right it was very difficult out of all the ARs to pull as you can see you got that whitening there uh, as you can see there. So we'll take that nonetheless. A mint nine on that one. All right. We got Skurlia. All right. What do we have here? Mint nine again. Okay. We're not getting lower than the nine, which I, I'll take because I know uh, it's going to be hard to grade these new English cards. Uh, and obviously, it's not due to Aces being harsh or anything. Literally, Scarlet and Violet it has been awful for uh quality and stuff like that so that's why i wanted to do this video and show you guys kind of the results so if you get a nine it's good if you get a 10 it's a big w and i've been seeing tens really at a premium with the english uh cards from the scarlet and violet era as you can see this iono selling for four times i think the new charizard selling for three times uh the market uh, like the raw price as you can see on the screen so yeah definitely use the code viv if you do want to grade with ace but yeah i didn't pick like the best quality these are just the ones i had in my collection kind of thing but oh we got the god of all so boom this one's a sleeper i think i did go out and buy some more but a gem mint 10 let's go if we want a gem mint 10 this is where we want to get it at and yes let's go god of war sar full art in a gem mint 10 let's go let's go special illustration right in english as you can see this one here has the evolution line which tells that story like growing up and stuff together which is amazing so that's what i love about these cards just the artworks my favorite pokemons i always loved routes as a kid obviously evolves into gardevoir so definitely had to get that line there but boom all right this is the promos now so boom we got the maraidon mint nine so yeah, again the etb promos you guys already know like these are tough to grade i always say that when we crack these open as well so i love that one these were like these were like tournament promos in japanese so the, to get the english one so easily is really good uh but yeah let's see what we got here oh cried on okay cried on oh we got gem mint 10 in english on an etb promo i'll take that so yeah you get even more gas when you get in those tens on these modern cards but yeah let's see what we can get here right on eight oh i did buy this one on ebay i believe but yeah you can see that corner not so great there but yeah i bought this on ebay but nonetheless like regardless this is what i say about ace regardless of the grade the card still looks sick because when you got that ace label the grade means like if it's for yourself then you're not too bothered about grade the grade then the card still looks sick in your collection you know so same with this like it is an eight but i'll take that in my collection all day but yeah again 
this one did look pretty decent but yeah i guess that's a big not clean point there all right then we should have its other one the crydon i believe i bought both of these on ebay i don't know what happened there but oh my god a seven oh at least god of all we got the 10 but you know seven on that one so boom so yeah, again, this just shows you what the hell is going on at Pokemon. Why are we paying more for packs, but the quality is less? Uh, these are all probably packed fresh. Obviously, some of them I did buy on eBay, that ones that I was missing, especially from Powder Evolved. So we'll get into those in a bit, but let's see what we got next. Oh, we got the golds here. Okay, Mint 9. I'll take a Mint 9 there. All right, next up, Mint 9. Okay, oh, this is a 7 pile. We'll put a 7, 8 pile over here now. There we go. Uh, but two nines on the golds, we'll take that. Plus the golds have ace labels. So that's really, really nice. We'll take those. Boom. All right, next up. Okay, still got some more. So I think I did buy this. I bought this for my guy, Pokey Ben. Gem Mint 10, he did say it was super clean as well. So big shout out to my guy, Pokey Ben on that one. The Arcanine and Gem Mint 10. And you guys seen so far, like it's really hard to get 10. So we'll take that all day. Gyarados now. Gem Mint 10 on this one as well. Let's go. I'll take that. I'll take that. So I love these Terra Full Arts. Even though I hate the crowns. These Terra Crown stuff. Like, I can admire the art and the background. And, oh, I just love the, the, the Pokemon on the silver background. Looks sick. All right. So, boom. Let's get into the rest of them. Okay. This will mean that we'll get into the Paldia Evolve now. So starting off, we've got the Pikachu promo. Obviously, we have the awesome promo of this in Japanese, but a Mint 9. I'll take a Mint 9 on this one. Again, here's what it is with the English guys. We'll take 9s all day. But, oh, Meryl. So one of my favorite, childhood favorites again. Mint 9, we'll take that with the Ace label. So everything has an Ace label. So it shows you how sick these look with them. And what are the Ace label options in this video? Okay, we've got the Raichu here. An 8. Ah, oh, I think I did pack this one. But awesome artwork really helps extend because look at that. You got Lieutenant Sarge there because obviously Lieutenant Sarge is right to you. had the right to in the games, I guess in the series, whatever. And obviously in the cards, we know Lieutenant Sarge is right to you. So in the bedroom, has a really, really cool little feature to put uh, Lieutenant Sarge there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty sick. <laughs> oh, I like that. Little Easter egg. That's sick. Easter eggs and these ace labels. Oh, Sudo Wado. I love Sudo Wado. Oh, I hate it again. Bruh, as you can see, just like straight out the pack with those damages. I, I don't know what's going on that Pokemon, but like Sun and Moon was alright. So most of the, for the most part, Sword and Shield was alright as well, right? Like he had really nice corners, really round, really good cuts. Obviously, watch centering and that. Sometimes you get some stinky cuts as well, but for the most part, it was pretty good. But the whole of Scarlet and Violet has not had a nice cut corner, no round corners. I don't know what's going on, but they really, really need to sort it out. But mid nine, so okay, we've got Sprigatito. You guys will know what that one will involve into. And yes, we do have that evolution line, all three evolution lines. Because I did play the Paldia, uh, not Paldia, but Scarlet and Violet game. So I kind of like the starters, obviously. When I play the game, I kind of get attached to the starters and stuff like that, even though some of them are a bit ugly. But eight on the uh, for Gatto. All right, last one. Ten on the Meowscarod. I'll take that. I'll take that, guys. Yo, we'll take it. So, boom, we got the evolution line there. And the next one. Obviously, we've got the Fui Coco one now. And I'll, again, these tell stories. Especially this one tells a nice story here. Uh, oh, this one's pretty good. This one starts on a tree. This one gets higher on the tree. And this is at the top of the tree. Ooh, and this one obviously starting to shop. Nine there. This one, he's starting to, he's still in the shop, kind of making a mess or putting fear them in the backpack. But a nine again, we'll take that. The Ace labels are incredible on these for sure. So shout out to the graphic designer Ace. But we've got this Skeletor Age and now he's helping, carrying the shopping out. So did he evolve in that short space of time? Uh, but yeah, I think they, they did grow up or something. Uh, the, the trainer there did grow up as well in the artwork. But a gem in 10, yo, so it tells you at least the special illustration is a little bit better, even though we did get those legendaries. Uh, not so good grades on those, but it does show you at least it is possible to still get 10s there. So we'll take that. And again, I'm just encapsulating my favorite cards from the first two releases of Scarlet and Violet. So based on how they evolved. I will do Black Flame and Obsidian Flame return eventually with Ace. So stay tuned for that if you do want to see that. But yeah, let's go. We've got the Quaxley here. Let's see what we can get. Eight. So this is my the starter I went with. I do I just like the first evolution. 
but yeah there we go as you can see it just gets downhill from here we've got the Quaxley so you can see he's in the mirror and now he's getting ready he's evolved in the same mirror nine so have they kept the same yeah so they kept the same ace label because it's pretty much the same location anything changes is the, uh, the duck or the pokemon sorry and obviously some of the physics in the front but the background there is everything's the same so boom eight and a nine let's see what we got here oh okay this is more shiny so i'll show you guys in a second but a gem in 10 there i don't know what that thing is what is it like i'm trying to work out what it matches but it looks like a, i don't know but yeah as you can see i did notice so the ace label is not quite the same they have this little ray of light and then different areas and all of these and then boom this one's a bit lower here but then it has this bit i don't know what that is there for uh but yeah gym H10, okay so that's all that matters i just kind of send the ars to go with them so i can get a sequential set but to get those all 10 i'll take that for sure that's what really matters there so we'll take that apart from we didn't get other legendaries but again we'll take them we'll take them oh chin pao gem mint 10 so one of my favorite uh like the i don't even know what they're called the ruins thing gods i don't know what they are but this is probably my favorite out of the four the other three are no good i can't lie but this one's pretty cool awesome artwork as well we got a gem mint 10 there with ace which is really good so we'll take that with the ace label all right we're almost done here guys let's go oh squawkabilly i'm not a squawkabilly fan but i just kind of like this artwork and the card it's the thing about sars like you start to like and have cards that you may not collect the pokemon but you just kind of like the artwork well mint nine so we'll take that mint nine there next up oh tinkerton i love a tinkerton let's see what you got here mint nine again so yeah we've got a mint nine there i'll take that though but i do like tinkerton in the game so i had to get the sar and the sar is pretty nice as well so i did send a japanese one of that off so stay tuned for that but oh we got the full art version hey jim mint 10 on the full art yeah, I'll take those. So yeah, that is today's return, guys, of Scarlet and Violet and Paldi Evolved. As you can see, we sent those chase cards from the new uh, English sets. Uh, and yeah, obviously kind of showing you as well, like they're not the easiest to grade. So if you can get that 10, it will really add a value. Even with Ace, like I just showed you some of the comps and sale data on some of the recent modern English cards and adding two, three, four X on those values. So if you do want to grade with Ace, make sure you use the code VIV down below. But obviously these are all for my personal collection i'm not going to be selling any of these but just to nice get your cut the cards nicely encapsulated especially with the ace label regardless of the grade they do still look sick as you can see there um but guys make sure to like subscribe and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one peace